Yeah. All right, everybody. This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And as you can see, I have a guest right here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Dilly from Dilly and Dad. Yeah, so, okay, you want to plug your channel real quick? Um, Make sure to go subscribe to Dilly and Dad and like every video. Yeah, <laughs> so me and Dylan, we have another channel if you want to yeah. check it out. I'll put a link up in the info card up over here, all right? And we do a bunch of video games. He builds Legos and all sorts of fun stuff. But anyways, as you saw from that video, gamer rage is a huge deal. If any of you watched my last video about my professional gaming career, you know that I'm a big gamer. Dylan's a big gamer too. And this video is going to talk about a video game mindfulness meditation that me and Dylan are going to teach you. So this is important. This isn't just for parents out there or just gamers. It's kind of for both and it's, it broadens out, but I wanna start individualizing these videos and show you how easy these different practices can be so you don't rage out like we just saw. Yeah. So there's a reason why professional athletes meditate, okay? So let's take football players, for example. If they bring the anger from the last play into the next play, it tilts them out of proportion. So they might be angry and they can't concentrate, they can't focus, they can't do the thing that they're best at, which is play football. This is something that happens in video games too. So if you're a parent out there and you have a child who um, gets frustrated playing video games, we're gonna teach you this meditation in between rounds of how to bring yourself back down, calm yourself, and bring yourself back into the moment. So real quick, Dylan, drop some knowledge on these folks. What is mindfulness? Noticing what's happening right now. Yes, so mo mindfulness is noticing what's happening right now. So what we're doing is, is that we're staying present in the moment. So I'll walk you through it a little bit more. We're about to hop over and play some video games to show you the actual practice. But after the round is over, we bring ourselves right back into the moment. Okay, so you ready to go play some Call of Duty? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody, we're back. We're playing some Call of Duty and we're gonna be practicing a little bit of mindfulness. All right, so basically what we're going to be doing, and this is going to help us reset, and um, Dylan brought up some really good points too. We can actually be mindful while we're in the middle of a round as well. So what that means is if we notice ourselves getting frustrated or not being able to, you know, take out a, an opponent. Ooh, good shot. Then we could take a few breaths and just bring ourselves back into the moment. Ooh, that mindfulness is already paying off, son. Oh. Oh, look at this guy. Why? Yeah, but especially uh, parents out there and any other gaming parents out there, you know, um, gaming is supposed to be a fun activity. Well, a any sport, really, you know what I mean? So we want to make sure that we're teaching ourselves as well as our children how to manage our emotions. One of the best parts about mindfulness is that it improves the part of the brain responsible for emotional regulation. Like I remember when uh, even Dylan was a baby or his cousin, we'd be playing Candyland and it would turn into a nightmare, you know? So it's practices like this that help bring us back into the moment and keep us nice and grounded. And by the way, don't forget, head over and check out uh, Dilly and Dad's gaming channel. We're trying to hit about 600 subscribers, so if you guys could do that, me and Dylan would really appreciate it. And especially if your kids watch YouTube, you know? It's a great channel for kids. Oh, okay. Three breaths. Wait, pause. All right, let's go. So when doing this, in, in games like Call of Duty, you can respawn immediately or you can give it a second. So Dylan, let's... Try to be mindful of the respawn and not jump in so quick. Nice. Oh, 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 okay. Don't, don't rejoin. Okay, just three breaths. Right. Are you noticing any thoughts popping up while you're trying to breathe? No. Just fo what are you focusing on when you breathe? My breath. Your breath? What part of your breath? Um, how my stomach moves in and out. How your stomach moves in and out? All right, cool. 
so yeah, those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, mindful breathing techniques, you just want to kind of hone in on whatever, wherever the breath is the strongest. Um, Dylan pays attention to his stomach, how it comes up and down as you breathe. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> but uh, you can also, you know, focus on the flow of air through your nose or through your mouth. Uh-oh, uh -oh. you better back up. Oh, that was not a mindful grenade toss. <laughs> nice shot. By the way, I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but uh, Dylan's never played this good in his life, so maybe uh, practicing mindfulness regularly uh, really does improve your game. This is living proof right here. And just keeping nice and calm and mellow the whole time. Yeah. And those of you uh, gamers out there who really use sound and everything like that, mindfulness helps you with that, too. It helps you stay focused on which direction they're coming from, what you're hearing, um, in Call of Duty, you can hear when, you know, the airdrops are coming. Nice shot. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, maybe a, a, we'll do another video. So make sure you subscribe. We'll do another video on mindful listening. Okay. I got three breaths. Yeah. All right, you guys. Now it's Daddy's turn. And by the way, too, this isn't just for kids. Like, I'm 32 years old, and I got to practice mindfulness while I'm gaming, too. Like Be uh, because, trust, I can get really raged nice. while playing, too. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Breathe with me. All right. And what I just noticed, too, in games like this where they have the kill cam, that's a good time to practice mindfulness, too, because some of us, we just want to rush through the kill cam because we get so angry seeing how another person killed us. So that's a good way to um, practice is notice how upset you're getting. Yeah. Oh, wow. But you could also take their example on how to try to kill them. Mm-hmm. And another fun fact, okay, mindfulness is called, it's also known as being in the zone. All right, a few breaths. All right, let's go. Oh. All right, Dylan, your turn. Thank you. Ooh, okay. You're not being mindful. Okay, here. See, notice that urge to just want to jump, <clears throat> jump straight in. Take a pause. And in a fast-paced game like this with Call of Duty where you respawn, like right now we're playing Team Deathmatch, and what we'll start doing, Dylan, is when we die, we'll respawn, but we'll make sure that we're focusing on our breath as we're moving forward, okay? Okay. And one thing about mindfulness practice, too, is that it's all about repetition more than it is duration, okay? Because the idea behind it is, is that we want to get to a place where we're just doing this automatically. We've trained this habit where we're just constantly bringing ourselves back into the now, back into the now. Oh, 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 we tied. All right, everybody. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it's a video game meditation. So any of you gamers out there or any of you parents out there who have children and you're doing some gaming, like as a parent, you could just sit next to them and just remind them to be mindful. You'll start to see that they get a lot less frustrated. So 
If you like this video, if you like me or Dylan or both to do more videos about mindfulness and just everyday activities, make sure that you leave a thumbs up and I'll, I'll put a, a comment down below that you can reply to and let us know if there's anything else where you wanna learn how you could be more mindful in those situations to calm yourself down, all right? But again, make sure you go and check out our channel, Dilly and Dad, right? Okay, check out Dilly and Dad, it's up in the info card. And if you're wondering who made these beautiful pictures of myself and Dylan above our head, it was my wonderful girlfriend, Tristan. You can follow her on Instagram, at tag.doodles. I'll put it in the description down below. But anyways, if you like mental health videos and you wanna improve your mental and emotional well-being, make sure you click the subscribe button, come back. Ton of videos, okay? But um, thanks so much for watching. We love your faces, and we'll see you next time.